More, more what? More, more plastic. mahal kasi kung magpapadeliver um, hindi naman tayo pwede mag-dine in right now kasi you know, pandemic so, um, tsaka ganyan din kasi kami kapag parang feel lang namin kumain ng ganito, ganyan mas prefer namin na magluto kasi aside na mas makakamura ka um, mas masasatisfy ka sa pagkain mo kasi um, big portions kasi nga um, kayo lang yung gumawa tsaka affordable lang din so yun um, pinaprepare niya ngayon and then um, ika, uh, tingnan natin kung okay na and then samahan niya kung magluto Water is boiling for our noodles. Let's start cutting our um, ingredients. So let's start with sibuyas. So, nagawa ko is I cut it in small uh, pieces. Okay, sana kung meron tayong chopper. So. Eh, wala. Kaya, ganito naman.
na soak na lahat yung noodles sa tubig and then let's just cover it for like around 5 to 10 minutes and then test natin yung noodles if it's already cooked and then while waiting we're gonna do our sauce Okay, so guys, our noodles is cooking, and then while waiting, we're gonna do our sauce. So let's start. Um, painitin muna natin yung ating kawale. And we're not gonna use oil for cooking our sauce, but instead, we're gonna use margarine. Um, okay, sana kung butter kasi nga uh, carbonara siya. But since wala kaming butter sa ref, but we have margarine. So, ito na lang yung ginamit namin. So, this is around 2 tablespoons of uh, margarine. And a low heat lang siya para hindi masunog yung uh, butter natin. And then pour um, our bawang. smell what I smell ngayon mga higana. Ang bango ng, ng bawang sa ano sa margarine. Si so, Ben. Si Beb, yung asawa ko, yun yung nag, nag-take ng video. And then, we're gonna put in our onions. Everyone, sinawal, uh, check natin yung noodles natin. O, okay lang ba? Medyo malapit na to. Ang technique ko po para hindi masyadong lata yung noodles natin is once na medyo nakita mo na malambot na siya, you leave it for around 2 to 3 minutes in the water and then patayin mo yung ano, apoy and then we'll take it out later and then we'll continue with our sauce and then pag Nakita mo yung onions na parang mag-ano na siya. Parang transparent na siya. You can then put in your tuna. Isang reason na we're not using oil in this in, um, recipe is that yung margarine, nag-oil siya, at saka yung tuna na gagamitin natin is flakes in oil. So, meron na siyang oil mismo doon sa tuna. So, no need na maglagay tayo ng additional oil. So, we put in our tuna. This is supposed to be spicy. Kaya lang, nakalimutan kong sabihan yung asawa ko na spicy ang bilhin. Eh, pagdating, hindi spicy. So, that's the reason why we have um, chili powder later on para pang spicy kasi mas masarap kung spicy. But if you buy um, tuna flakes in oil, mas maganda if yung spicy na yung bilhin niyo. As you can see, nagmamantika na siya. We'll just let it simmer for a little bit. And then, yung mga tuna na nagbubuo-buo, you can just crush them. 
one by one. We can add in our milk. This is a uh, evaporated milk. Um, isang malaking plata ng evaporated milk. Any brand will do. Ano-ano na lang po may isip na kainin. <laughs> And then, since mahal pag mag-order ka, eh, gumawa ka na lang ng sarili mo, di ba? It may not be the same recipe as others have or the typical um, carbonara that we know of, but you can make use of what you have in the fridge or make use of what you have yung kung ano meron sa resources mo and then just think of what you can do of them kesa naman pilitin mong bumili ng pagkain sa labas eh bawal nga lumabas kasi nga quarantine pag magpapadeliver ka naman medyo costly so why not just cook it at home Um, ang budget natin dito, parang magkano ba, babe? Hindi, hindi aabot ng 600? No? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes na hindi aabot ng 600. Okay. And then... We'll just wait for the milk to simmer for a little bit. Yan muna natin siya nanimayan. And then while waiting, uh, let's take out our noodles para hindi siya malapa. So, okay. Okay, so, lalagay na natin yung all-purpose cream. So when we're adding the all-purpose cream, mas ano siya, mas lumalapot siya. And as you can see, yung mga yung mantika galing sa tuna at saka dun sa margarine na ginamit natin na na uh, chili powder. Kasi nga hindi spicy yung tuna na ginamit natin. We can add in the um, chili powder. Konti lang muna para later tikman natin kung kailangan pang dagdagan or not. And then we're just gonna add the salt as well. Hindi lang muna natin ubusin lahat kasi baka maalat. And then the pepper. What matters is yung lasa. Di ba? Now, we're gonna add in our noodles. Alright. So, may isa-isa lang. Ano pa naman? Tamayin ko na lang. Anak mo ba sa mga ko? Ay, may ina. Okay. So, nakahanap ako ng tongs. Ito na lang gagamitin natin kasi may ina. But we're gonna put in the noodles slowly. Okay, so nahalo na natin yung noodles. And then, we're just gonna add the cheese. So, ito yung masarap na part. You can use any cheese that you want. Kung sa amin, 
ano ba to? Pig milk ba to? Ano I don't know. Basta cheese. <laughs> Mas maganda kung ilagay niya sa ref yung cheese ninyo para ano, matigas siya pag ginrate ninyo sa ano, sa noodles. Ito, nilagay ko sa ref pero ano pa rin siya. Malumbot pa rin siya. But it's okay. We're just gonna um, chop them later and then add it on. Alright. So we're just gonna do a little bit of mixing and then. Okay, so we're done cooking mga higanda and it's time to taste it. Um, tamang tama for the snack time. I guess it's already around 3 p.m. right now. And so, let's see if masarap pa tong niluto natin. Okay, let's try. Masarap naman. Doon, hindi siya masyadong spicy kasi konti lang yung nilagay ko na uh, chili powder. Kasi what it does in the noodles is not to turn into pink siya kasi mapulay yung chili powder natin. But overall, masarap naman. Kasi hindi naman, hindi naman to pang commercial. Um, we are cooking at home whenever we crave for something to eat. Especially if bored kami. <laughs> right now, bored kami. And then we thought of uh, eating pasta. Supposedly, spaghetti. Pero parang mas masarap kumain ang carbonara. And this is how we do our carbonara at home. Hindi naman kailangan na mahal, hindi kailangan na fancy yung food mo, hindi naman kailangan na orderin mo pa sa restaurant. But if you can, then there's nothing, I have nothing against that. But for us, as much as possible, if you want to eat something, we try to cook it at home. Kasi mas masarap sa feeling na nakain mo yung gusto mo at the same time ikaw yung nagluto ng pagkain na kinakain mo. Uh, kasi ako, I, I like cooking and um, whenever I can um, kung ano yung gusto kong kainin in a day, ako talaga yung nagluto aside na lang pag may times na um, busy ako, so si husband yung nagluluto for us. But for this one, um, hindi, hindi naman siya masyadong ano sa, sa mga pasta. So, I do the cooking for this at saka sa mga dessert. Hopefully, next time sa mga next videos natin, we can um, show to you how we do our desserts at home. Um, well, this vlog is not mainly for uh, showcasing you how we cook food, but it's um, us showing you how our lives have changed um, when we got married. Um, we're, we are married for like, ano ba, mag, uh, well, one month pa lang by July 9. So, um, mar marami pa tayong mga araw na pagsasamahan. And hopefully, you can join us in our adventure as we go along with our married life. So, I guess that's it for now, mga higala. If you want us to cook uh, something else for you, you can just, um, leave a comment down below and like and uh, click the notification uh, bell para ma-notify kayo if meron kami bagong um, mga videos and subscribe to our channel para sama-sama tayo every day. Alright, I guess, I guess that's it for today. See you, mga higala. Bye!